Hello guys, welcome back to the C1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily C1 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is to find the shear force and bending moment diagram of this uh, beam. This beam known to us, the dimensions are given to us and the loading are also given to us and there are different concentrated load on this beam and we are interested to find the shear force and bending moment diagram of this beam. So, to find the shear force and bending moment diagram, first we have to find the erection forces. There are two supports, one is the hinge and one is the roller. So we have to find this reaction first. So this is the RA reactions and this is the RB. So to find the first reaction, let's suppose that we take the summation of moment at the point A is equal to zero. So now take the clockwise moment is positive and the anti-clockwise is negative. So this two is acting clockwise at the point A, clockwise. So two into two, two is the moment arm and two is the load. So two into two plus two, because it is in clockwise again, one is clockwise, one and the moment arm is now two plus two, four. So plus one into four is the moment arm. Again plus, because this is clockwise. So three and the moment arm is, 1 plus 2 plus 2, 5. The moment arm is 5. Now, RB is, in, is acting in, uh, in the anti-clockwise direction. So, it will be minus RB into RB into the moment arm. The moment arm for this is 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2, 6. 8.8. A. So, 6. We should take the moment at A because we have given that the summation of moment at A is equal to 0. This is our this is our first step and then the 5 is acting clockwise so again positive and 5 into moment arm the moment arm is 8 6 plus 2 8 so these were the all moments causing the moments at point A so now simplifying this we take this we transfer this into the right side so 6 RB and solving this portion 2 plus 2 2 into 2 4 plus 4 plus 15 plus 40, right? So RB, 6RB will be equal to the 63. Now uh, dividing the 63 by 6, so we will get the 10.5 kilonewton. So it means that the RB reaction is 10.5 kilonewton, right? Now, how much load will be supported by the RA? So to find the RA, the simple is, uh, we will take the summation of the vertical forces is equal to zero, right? The vertical forces is equal to zero. Summation of vertical forces is equal to zero. So the vertical is two is acting downward. So all acting downward will be positive. Two plus one plus three plus five. But RB is acting in upward direction. So minus 10.5. And we also uh, taken as the R is in upward. So it will be also minus RA is equal to zero. So these were the all vertical forces. Now, RA, I will transfer RA into the right side. So RA will become positive is equal to the, by simplifying these 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 minus 10.5, we come out with the 0.5 kilonewton. So 0.5 kilonewton is the RA reaction. Now, this was the first step that we find the support reactions. Now, I'm going to draw the shear force from these support reactions and from these loading conditions. So to start the shear force and bending moment diagram, first I will draw the reference lines for the shear force and bending moment diagrams. These are the reference lines. We must have to draw it. And we have to draw it on the points of loading in the reactions. Right? So this is the shear force in kilonewton. Right? First we have to find the shear force. So the first reaction starting from here, we should start the shear force from the left side. So the R is 0.5 kilonewton, so we will move it upwards up to 0.5 kilonewton, right? In the unit of kilonewton. We should not mention the units again here. So 0.5 is acting upward, RA, and then, the, then there is no load again. So just moving uh, with the zero degree line. Again, 2 kilonewton is acting downward. So uh, by uh, it is acting downward while it is acting upward. So we will subtract this 0.5 minus 2, so it comes out to be minus 1.5 right minus 1.5 then again there is no load then 1 kilonewton is acting downward minus 2.5 because it is acting downward then again there is no load 
Then again three, again acting downward. So by adding three, we get uh, by adding three, uh, three, so it comes out to be minus 5.5, right? Again, no loading. Again, RB here is acting upward. So we will add 10.5. So minus 5.5 plus 10.5. It comes out to be 5. So 5 kN is acting upward, right? So 5. Now there is again no load moving straight. Again, 5 is acting downward, 5. So M comes out to be 0. These are the 0 reference lines. So this is the shear force diagram for this beam. It's very really simple just to know about which load is acting upward and which is acting downward. You should add and subtract according to that. Now to draw the bending moment diagram, we would draw, we would draw the reference line first. This is the reference line for the bending moment diagram and bending moment represented by BM and kilonewton in meter. It is the unit of kilonewton meter. So to draw the bending moment diagram, first we have to know the area of these shapes, right? Just by adding, subtracting these areas, we will get the bending moment diagram. So 0.5 is the height of this rectangle and 2 meter is the width, is the length of this rectangle, is we know this 2 meter. So 0.5 into 2, we comes out to be 1, 1. So 1 here is the, is the answer of this bending moment here. Now 1.5 is the depth here of this rectangle and 2 meter is the length as we see here. So by multiplying 1.5 into 2, uh, we comes out with the 3 uh, and with the, uh, it is acting downward. So by adding into plus 3, 1 and minus 3, so it comes out to be minus 2. Minus 2, right? Now again, this comes out to be minus 2. So now finding this rectangle area, which is minus 2.5 is the depth and 1 is the a length of this rectangle so by multiplying minus 2.5 into 1 we get minus 2.5 so adding into this so we get minus 2 into minus 2.5 we get minus 4.5 right so now this rectangle this rectangle the depth is minus 5.5 and the length is 1 meter so it comes out to be minus 5.5 so by adding into this we get minus 10 right it is not showing in the video so it comes out to be minus 10 here, right? So now, now this rectangle is acting upward. This shear force diagram is acting upward. So we will add this from the uh, 10 to the 10. So five, so five is the depth of this rectangle and two meter is the length of this rectangle. So five into two, it is 10. So by adding minus 10 into 10, we comes out to be 10. Minus 10 plus 10, it comes out to be zero. So the shear, the bending moment diagrams comes out to be zero at this point, right? And there is no bending moment diagram from this point onwards. So this was the a way how to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram of this beam with the different concentrated load at different points. Uh, it's really easy, but you should remember the points that how to draw the, uh, how, to, which step is to be carried first and then the uh, second step. First to support directions then the shear force and from the shear force we will get the bending moment diagram but you should know the way how to find the area of each rectangle in each triangle.